hello and in today's video i'm going to be seeing how many books i can read in 24 hours i have four books that i'm going to try and read in this challenge the first book is the second book in the inheritance games series super fast paced i feel like this is a really good book for this challenge but maybe not to start off with i feel like if i start off with this one then it's going to be harder to start into the next book if it's like slower pace so maybe i'll either start with this or maybe i'll end with this or do it in between i don't know the second book which I actually have started is Malibu Rising which I've just like that much through. I bought this as soon as I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I absolutely love The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and so far this is chill like this is good. I just I haven't gotten into it yet but I'm gonna try and do that this video. I reckon I can because I know that I'm gonna love this book when I get into it. The third book that I'm going to try and read in this challenge is Reminders of Him. People love this book. I've seen a couple people will say that this is their favorite Colin Hoover book and I really like the feel of this book it's like really good quality so I'm gonna try and read this in this video I actually started like a couple pages like literally that much I think I'm really gonna like this and there's also this quote in the book that's like on TikTok and I when I get to the part I'm gonna like highlight it you probably know what I'm talking about if you've read this book and then the third book that I want to read is some kind of perfect and I have started this book only a little bit I stopped reading right here because I was reading this and there was some scenes with Willow in it talking about Garrison and I really liked their relationship throughout like this series so I went on to Bad Reputation and I just read the first half of that. I'm going to continue reading this and I'm probably going to go back and forth with the Bad Reputation duet so technically if I finish this in this video then I will finish two books. I don't really want to finish this book in this challenge because <laughs> I literally am going to probably cry so if I do finish this book it'll probably be at the end of this challenge i literally don't want to say goodbye to these characters i kind of feel like i might start off with reminders of him i don't know why i'm also going to annotate this so it might take me a bit longer but it's worth it i love annotating what i read now that i've kind of planned out what i want to get done i'm going to show you how i'm going to do this challenge basically i just have a 24 hour timer on my ipad and i'm just going to press play when i start reading and then when i stop i'm just going to press pause and i'm just going to keep doing that until the 24 hours runs out it is actually friday where i live right now and i'm supposed to have school today but where i live it is actually like kind of flooding so it's probably going to actually flood in the next couple of weeks and i thought i know like it's not good obviously but i literally can't like do anything today um i don't have school so i thought why not do a reading vlog so i have my books i have my timer ready to go i'm just gonna get straight into the video and i'll give you some updates throughout my reading reading journey. If you're wondering why my hair looks different, I may have had a mental breakdown and cut it really short, but that's just not relevant really. I've only read for like an hour and a half. So, I'm going to get back into it. This Colin Hoover book, I love it. It's really good. I haven't even read that much, but I've read like quite a lot of Colin Hoover books and she has this specific writing style, which is kind of, in a way, what Patty. Um, and then this book is her newest book and I liked her other books. Don't get me wrong. Actually, some of them are my favorite reads like ever. But this book, the writing style is a bit different and it's really, really good. I really like it. I'm also super excited about reading this because every single Colin Hoover book has plot twists and all that so like there's gonna be something so i'm gonna start my timer i'm gonna continue to read this book Okay, hello. So, I have like some cream on my face and that's why it's shiny. So, I was reading Reminders of Him. I didn't get bored. I just, I wanted something else. So, I went on to All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. And I just read like a chapter of that. And Mariana Zapata is a slow burn. So, it usually takes me a little while to finish her books. It actually took me like a month to finish one of my favorite Mariana Zapata books. Which is, wait for it if you want to know. Now, I have a problem with 
reading a book and I get to a certain part and I just stop reading it and I never pick it up again. So I was looking through my Goodreads and I read Still Beating like ages ago and I stopped reading it at like 70%. That book was like nothing I've ever experienced before. Like... Like, it's a mind fuck. And when I read the synopsis, I was like, how, what am I going to, like, this is so bizarre. But it's really good. So, I actually never ended up finishing it. So, I'm going to finish the last 30% of that. Yeah, we'll see if I can get back into it. See if I remember what's happening, you know. Um, it's on my phone, FYI, if you're wondering. I also really recommend that book, but just type up the trigger warnings it's just really hectic i also if you like true crime you will love that book because it is true crime kind of vibes if you know what i mean okay i'm gonna start reading this and we'll get back into it <laughs> I just finished my book. I don't really know why I stopped reading it. I think it was just super dark and that's probably why. I just finished it. Pretty good. I gave it four stars. I think that I really liked the way it ended. I think that how it worked out was well done. So I'm going to probably just have a break for a little bit and then I'm probably going to pick up this maybe. Also technically I haven't read a full book. Um, I'm just going to count that as I think it was like a hundred pages left of my book. So I'm just going to count that as a hundred pages and if I read any other books that I've already started then I'll just like kind of add that on and like add them together and like if it's 300 pages I'll count that as a book you know what I mean? Because I have a lot of books that I like need to finish and it's a bad habit but it's just what it is. Um, also when I was reading that time I was like listening to like book reading music on Spotify with my headphones in and it's such a vibe. So I am 20 hours and 40 minutes. Technically I've been reading for 3 hours and 20 minutes so pretty good. We'll see how we go and I'll update you when I start to read another book like when I start to read again okay it's quarter past nine right now and I woke up and I was kind of just like oh I don't really want to do this challenge but it's a challenge it's you kind of don't want to do it so this is my plan I'm actually gonna like have a plan I woke up this morning and I regretted cutting my hair so I'm gonna like I'm probably going to try and grow it out as fast as I can because I already have a couple books that I've started I am finishing off the godparent trap I'm doing that right now it is actually a really good book so I'm just writing that down I'm gonna finish that off I only had like a hundred pages not even maybe of that left to go and then I'm gonna do all roads lead here because I'm actually like I really like the book and I don't really know what kind of direction it's gonna go into but I'm like kind of excited I might not do this in this order but if I do then good and then I'm gonna do reminders of him and then I'm going to do rock paper scissors out of all of these i probably might not do rock paper scissors i'm going to try and do it in this order finish the godparent trap right now and then maybe actually and then i'm going to try and do reminders of him but if i get bored of that then i'll do all roads lead here okay i'm going to try and do that and we'll see how i go <laughs> Because of the floods, I've actually been busy like putting stuff up and kind of just like talking about it with my mum. So I haven't read anything, but I'm going to plan to read Meet Me Halfway because I actually really loved Wait For It. And someone said that Meet Me Halfway is really similar to Wait For It. So I'm going to start that. Um, I probably won't update you very much because the floods, like, I'm probably going to be a bit distracted. Bye. Okay, so currently it is a couple days later. I actually don't remember the day that I filmed the last clip because every day is kind of just combining together because there's like floods yeah it's just pretty chaotic but luckily we didn't take any water in so because the floods have been happening i haven't really been able to read too much i started reading icebreaker it was in september and i read like 20 percent, and i didn't not like it it was just like a kind of different book and I was like kind of confused and then literally just last night I started reading again and I've only read like literally like two chapters but it's so well done it's so good even like the first part that I read it was still like amazing and it's just so different to anything like I've read Henry 
I literally can't with Henry. He is like absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna start the timer and I'm gonna read some more of the icebreaker. We'll see how we go. So I'm reading this book and I just, it was so out of pocket, like, look at that cover. I don't, like, mind the cover or anything. It's just, I was really caught off guard by how spicy this was, especially because it is grumpy sunshine, but, like, reverse. And the guy is, like, a bit of a cinnamon roll kind of guy. Not, like, too full on, just, like, a little bit. And if you've read this book, he kind of just came out of nowhere with, like, the things he was saying, so... I was just like, whoa. I was really caught off guard. Like, I'm actually still kind of stunned. I'm not saying I don't like it. If anything, it reminds me of Twisted Hate. If you've read Twisted Hate, it kind of reminds me of Twisted Hate. But, like, kind of better. Not gonna lie. But, yeah, I'm gonna keep reading it. I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't remember what I said in the last clip. But I'm pretty sure it was talking about Icebreaker. And I said I was on, like, 20%. But I'm on almost 60% now. I'm on, like, page 2. 248. I'm like absolutely loving it. I'm kind of getting the off campus series, Addicted Calloway, but it's like giving me those two vibes. And I'm really excited for the other books. I don't know when they're going to be out. Henry, I typed up the book on TikTok. And this is like a spoiler. So if you don't want to watch this, like you haven't read it already, this is a spoiler. But I was on TikTok and I'm pretty sure the TikTok was like saying that he's like autistic. I'm not sure if I like read it wrong or whatever, but I'm pretty sure. We're going to find out that he is autistic or like maybe Asperger's or something. I don't know. I've been reading a couple other books too, but I've only been putting the timer on for this book. I have like 40% left. So there's a couple things that are going to like resolve. So this Aaron guy, I'm super confused about him. I don't know if he's just a dickhead or maybe he has like his own problems but i guess we'll find out and also nate's dad i'm like kind of confused about him too i think that's like all i'm like kind of confused about apart from that it's just really good yeah it's just a really solid read and i think it's going to be a five stars especially because and i don't know if this makes sense but i feel like it would have been a four stars if it wasn't a series but it's a series so i think it's going to be a five stars because i love all the other side characters and i'm actually never getting bored in this book so if you sometimes get bored in books like say they like go somewhere by themselves or whatever you won't get bored in this book because it's super fast paced and the way it's written is like a really easy to read personally for me i think it's really easy to read so yeah i'm probably gonna finish it today don't quote me it just depends kind of like the last part i kind of hope there's like you know sometimes when you get to the end and like heaps of things happen i kind of hope that happens i guess we'll see and then once i finish that but i'm either gonna probably finish all roads lead here or maybe i might continue on with some kind of perfect now i know at the start of this video i was reading like reminders of him it's not bad but i want to get the ones that i've already started out of the way you know what i mean like not out of the way but i need to like not start other books i need to like finish the ones that i've actually started so i'm gonna try and do that we'll see how it goes i just have so many books on my tbr and i'll hear like one little thing about a book and i want to read it i'm trying to stop that especially because it's almost gonna to be like a new year i want to have a fresh start i want to like get all the books that i've started done and then just like go crazy next year you know i don't know if i've said that i finished the godparent trap but i did finish that too it didn't have very much left so I just wrote down the pages. I'll tell you how many pages I've read when I have finished the video and I'll tell you technically how many books I've read. So I'm just going to probably start reading again. My room's a mess because everything's been rearranged because of the floods. But I'm like putting it back together. Made my bed. And now I'm putting everything back on my bookshelf. So I'm just going to organize these books into like categories. And then I'm going to put them on my bookshelf. So let's do that. <music> see me i want you to be able to see like the bookshelf anyway i don't have that many books but i've read a lot of books and i've read them like on my phone um and i obviously love them and i do want to buy them but it's just not necessary i even have some books that i only have one book in the series like i have the horse thorn legacy I haven't read it yet i also have the wicked king which is the second book and i've read the other ones but i read them online so it's just not necessary to buy them like it does look good i think this looks really good obviously 
obviously I want this filled in like so bad. I haven't read all these books. I have the whole Harry Potter series, which I actually didn't buy, but I love Harry Potter. I've watched all the movies. I'm waiting for like Netflix to put Harry Potter. Like, I'm waiting for them to put Harry Potter on Netflix so then I can like read the book and then watch the movie. Sounds super fun. I also want to like annotate them and like kind of compare what the difference is, but apparently the books are better. Some of them are. Like obviously the movies are amazing, but the books have like a nostalgic feel, I'm pretty sure. And then this one, I'm pretty sure this one is from the library and my Nana bring it. Um, and she lives in Adelaide, so I'm probably gonna have to give that back. And I don't even know if I'll read it, but I've seen it on TikTok, so I think I'm gonna read it. And then I have Malibu Rising, which I haven't read yet, but I'm gonna read eventually. Um, I actually started it, but I just haven't finished it, and I got it as soon as I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because five stars amazing and then i have reminds of him which i have started as you've seen in this video but i'm just putting it on the bookshelf because i probably won't finish it in this video but maybe i will depends how fast i read then i have some kind of perfect which i've read all the other books in the series obviously but i was gonna buy every single other book because they're redoing the covers and they're also redoing the addicted covers too and i like them so much more like obviously the other ones were amazing to start with but they made them even better and i I think there's also exclusive content. Oh yeah, so I've started reading this, but then I went on to the bad reputation to it. So I stopped reading that, but I will finish this obviously. Like I'm just doing it slowly because it's the last book. And then I have Love and the Brain, which I've actually finished this. And I would recommend, but just don't expect like it's not a five stars because it's very similar to love on the brain and i'm pretty sure it's probably similar to the other novella things she had too but she does like the whole like big man thing and it's so annoying but it was actually pretty good and there was like a plot twist which i kind of liked to be honest it was kind of good and i have book lovers which i have finished technically i have a i have a reading vlog on this book and it gave me like mixed feelings and so many people like this and so many people think it's like okay and like personally i did like the start but then i just got bored so i stopped reading it but i think it's pretty good and then i have where will eyes which is actually the it's actually the book that got me into reading i know heaps of people hate this book i understand the hate because when i was reading this i was so confused but for some reason i loved it like i didn't love it but for some reason i was like like, oh my god this is like so good because it was like a tiny bit of romance and i ate it up so i read that and i was like is this like what reading is like so as soon as i finished that which actually i don't even think i finished it <coughs> but like as soon as like i put that down i asked my mum if i still had a library card and i just got heaps of books from the library i literally went on tiktok and typed up book recommendations and i just came up with like ugly love People Man on Vacation, Red, White, and Royal Blue, all of them added to the cart. And this is this is what's happened. And then I have Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That's all I'm gonna say. And then I have Verity, which people like this book a lot. I'm gonna be honest, I'm giving it a three stars. Like I read this ages ago, but I don't even know what I gave it on Goodreads, but I'm pretty sure I gave it a three stars. I think it's super overhyped. It was easy to read there was nothing wrong with it but the way it ended personally for me it was too open-ended like i want to know what's happening and then if you can see down here i have the shadow and bone the infernal devices now the clockwork angel i'm pretty sure the city of bones that's the one you're supposed to start with but i watched the netflix thing of that and i didn't really like it so i'm starting with this apparently there's a love triangle apparently it's really well done so i'm gonna do that um i've actually started it it, but I just stopped and I'm gonna finish it because it's really well done and the hardcover has heaps of art and like maps and it's just so good and then I have Shadow and Bone which heaps of people say that the Shadow and Bone series isn't necessary so I bought the first book because it was like six dollars I love fantasy but sometimes when I start it it's like really hard for me to understand so I bought the first book because apparently the first book's still really good so I'm gonna read the first book if I want to continue on with the rest of the books in the Shadow and Bone trilogy I'm gonna do that but I might just read the first one because apparently that's all you need to do sometimes people don't even do that 
that. And then I'm going to read Six of Crows. And then I have The Hawthorne Legacy. So I finished the first book. I'd give it like a four stars, maybe, maybe 3.54. I wanted to keep reading the series, but then the new book came out and I spoiled The Love Triangle. And it made me literally cry. If you know, you know. I still like the first book, so I'm going to keep reading it. So I got the book. It was like $10, so that was pretty good. And then I have Wicked King because when I read The Cruel Prince, I loved it. 10 out of 10. Like, it was just like so magical and there's a romance subplot and i ate that shit up like 10 out of 10 would recommend and then i like just randomly never got onto the second book so i bought it because i'm gonna read it eventually apparently the second book is like the best book that's what like Hayley fam said i am going to read actually i think i'm gonna make a coffee because i kind of want to stay up late and like read because like i said we're literally flooded we can't really do anything so what's the harm in staying up a bit late i'm gonna make a coffee and and then I'm going to continue reading All Roads Lead Here. And I'm going to try and finish it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to film everything. Don't worry. Let's go make my coffee. Okay. It is like ages later. Um, And it's quite late. And like I don't want to wake my mum up. So I'm speaking quieter. But I've just been like watching YouTube and cleaning my room. Kind of. And I finally made my coffee. Okay. I'm just like trying to stir it. But it's like not... It's like not staring. I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna read all words lead here. We'll see how much we get done. keep reading but i'm just letting you know that i stopped the timer at 18 hours and 16 minutes and i just wanted to let you know because you might have been able to see in the time lapse but i don't think so because it was pretty fast something like happened in the book i'm reading all roads lead here but this guy just did something and it's just so cute it's so cute oh my god like if you've read this book i'm just gonna say one thing i'm gonna say tent tent like a tent like an outside tent i love it so much like that's so cute um i still have my coffee it's actually really good like i've been i know how to make them really good now I'm gonna have one in the morning too. So I'm just gonna keep reading and I'll let you know if I finish it. I actually think I might be able to because it's really good. So I'm just gonna keep reading and we'll see what happens. I love Maria Zapata. It's the next day and I actually went to bed like really late. Like I went to bed at like four o'clock. I woke up at like nine o'clock and the point is like I'm not even that tired. So it's like, how does that work? I'm going to continue reading All Roads Lead here. I am 64% of the way through and I have 17 hours and 49 minutes. The book is actually getting really good. I think they're gonna get into like a fight or something I don't know why that's exciting, but tension, you know, that's what I like about Myron Sabata books They might get into a fight, but they don't like go to like freaking like friends when they're mad at each other You know what I mean? They don't just like run away. They like resolve it pretty fast Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep reading and we will see how much I can get done <laughs> I'm on 73% now. It took me like an hour to do that. I read it like kind of fast and then I kind of slowed down. And this book kind of does like some like time jumps. It's like weirdly paced in a way, but I like it. There's only one thing that I just, it's like kind of weird and like if you've read this book then like tell me what you thought the main character Rhodes he has a son called Amos the main character girl she says stuff and she thinks like weird things like to make sure you're not thinking that like she likes the kid there was like a couple times where he said that she looked pretty or something and then like he got like pink cheeks and then there was something she said I don't even remember but it was a bit like weird like, it wasn't necessary I'm probably just like overthinking it but it kind of was annoying me anyway I'm gonna continue reading and we'll see how we go. <laughs> So 
I set the timer at 16 hours and 20 minutes. I only read like two chapters because I got bored. What I should do is continue reading Icebreaker. I think I'm just going to do that. It just makes the most sense and it's so good. So I'm actually kind of excited to read it. I'm going to start Icebreaker. <laughs> like a bit more vibey now a bit more relaxing you know just setting the vibes the time is 10 40 so i'm gonna drink my coffee which i have already started drinking and it's actually so good like i'm not gonna lie it's really good i'm gonna continue reading icebreaker i'm going to finish it because it is so good and i haven't gotten bored yet so i'm just gonna keep reading it and i'll be back when i have finished reading it <laughs> Okay, so from the last clip, I said that I was going to come back when I finished Icebreaker. Now, that technically was a lie. I stopped reading Icebreaker at 77%. And it wasn't because I didn't like it or anything. I just was tired and I wasn't, like, absorbing the information as much. And I want to, like, enjoy it because it's so freaking good. And it's almost over, so I don't want to rush it. So I'm going to finish it in this video, don't worry. But I am reading All Roads Lead Here. I'm on 80% and I'm just going to keep reading. It and I'm gonna get back to you when I've finished or it's laid here. <laughs> finished all roads lead here and i didn't really want like a romance at that minute so i started the cat and mouse do it and it's so good if you liked the mindfuck series you will like this book like i'm pretty sure you i mean i haven't read all of it yet but it's actually kind of similar um so i think you'll like it it's not the girl doing the killing though it's the guy but like it's so good so far i'm reading it really fast because it's just like addictive so yeah i'm just gonna keep reading it because i want to find out what's gonna happen it's so It is probably, I don't even know, a week later. I lost the footage, okay? That is basically what happened. But um, I stopped reading Haunting Adeline. I'm probably going to finish it eventually, but I started reading Some Kind of Perfect. I didn't finish it, obviously. It's a very big book. And then I started reading Malibu Rising, and I'm back into it. I'm obsessed. I think I have like 130 pages left. I've been keeping track of the number of pages I've been reading. So I will tell you all the stats at the end of the video but I have 8 hours and 48 minutes left. So I'm going to keep doing some more editing and I'll get back to you when I start rigging. And I'm my goal is to finish Malibu Rising by tonight. Here's a clip of me crying over Malibu Rising. From the last clip, I have not really read much of this because... I don't know like it's good it is actually so good I just haven't read any of it because it's so good and sometimes when a book is so good I don't want to pick it up because it's better than me and I feel inadequate to the book from the last clip I now have a cold so yay um, I've been literally trying everything to get rid of it but now I've kind of just given up and I'm just gonna like wait until it goes also my camera's about to go flat also if you're wondering why my eyebrows literally look rang off it's because I tinted them and it stays orange for a couple days it will turn brown hopefully anyway i'm gonna continue reading malibu rising and i'll get back to you <laughs>
it is night time now and I've finished Melody Rising. This book is such a weird experience because I started it months ago and I read like a tiny little bit and I started it again in this video and I loved it. I, I just don't know if it's a five stars but I feel like it is. I love the characters. The characters are absolutely amazing and even someone wrote on the back. Heart wrenching and utterly compelling. Its characters felt completely real to me. Each one is flawed and messy and impossible not to love. Every single character in this book is so like amazing. I love them all and the characters are so well done that it feels like amazing. It's so well done and it's made me want to buy Daisy Jones and the Six or maybe I'll get it from my library because I've already bought like a lot of books this month because isn't this like becoming a TV show or something. I don't know if it's out yet. I hope it's not out yet because I want to read it before it comes out. And this book also shows Carrie Soto in this book. Um, and I <laughs> am gonna read her book eventually. Honestly, this book has made me want to read her book like straight away too. But I don't know if she's like actually a good person. But I guess we'll be able to see what kind of person she is in her book. I have six hours left on the timer. I can probably finish another book, and I think I'm gonna choose one from the books that I borrowed from the library recently because I want to get them done because I have to return them. So I'm going to choose one of them. I think I'm going to start this one. I really shouldn't because I'm like literally mentally unstable. I really want to read it. I don't know why. Or maybe this one, The Flat Share. I don't know why I want to read the sad one, but like for some reason it's like calling my name. I'm going to get back to you when I picked the book that I'm going to read. I started reading Pack Up the Moon, but it was just too sad. So I decided to stop reading it and go into The Flat Share and it was really good and I was just having a fun time reading it and then I decided to go outside to read it it was a good day good weather and it was also spring where I live so it was absolutely a vibe <laughs> This book that I'm reading right now, it's from the library, The Flat Share. It's actually like really good. Once again, I know this video is all over the place, but I'm almost done. I have four hours and 20 minutes left. I'm going to continue reading this book. How many pages does this book have? It has 390 pages and I'm on page 182. I have like 210 pages left. Ugh. Anyway, it's getting good right now. It's more of a romance book right now. The first half was kind of just like setting it up and I feel like in a way it made like the connections stronger so yeah i'm gonna continue reading this and i'll get back to you As soon as I finished the flat share, which I thoroughly enjoyed five stars, I went straight on to the bride test and yeah, I was already a couple pages in and it was so good and I actually had mappers. It was like 30 days, 30 deals and it was really good. Hello, I'm back and technically I failed the challenge. I still have one hour and 45 minutes left, but honestly, I haven't been putting the timer on every single time I've been reading. It's just been all over the place. I'm going to do this another time properly. I'm going to plan out everything. Like I honestly really want to do a challenge like this properly, but I'm just going to tell you every single thing I read in this video and then I'm going to tell you like how many pages it was in total. At the start of this video, I read like reminders of him. I read 42 pages of that. I'm pretty sure I went straight on to Still Beating and I just finished that up and it was 62 pages. I reckon if you were in a reading slump, that book would really like be good. Just check out like the trigger warnings. And then I finished off The Godparent Trap, which once again, I was like almost done. And then I only had like 81 pages left. So I finished that off. The couple like got together when I stopped reading. So I thought it was just going to be like boring, but something happened and it was like really entertaining. And I really liked the the epilogue in this book i think it was actually really fun i feel like some epilogues are like hit or miss for me but this one was actually really good and i really recommend this book the next one i read was icebreaker and i started this book at like 20 percent and i finished it in this whole entire video so it was 345 pages and this book is so good and also if you're looking for something like spicy read this book because the spice is like 10 out of 10 it's written so well and then the next book that i finished 
finished was All Roads Lead Here. It was a really long book. It was like 600 pages. And I started the book in this video at like 50%. I finished it and it was 267 pages. It shouldn't have been that long because the last 72 pages were like this other like topic and it's just like not necessary. It's just like really boring to be honest. The next one that I started was Haunting Adeline and I read 238 pages of this book and then I like stopped reading it because it was just like a couple of things were making me feel a bit like uneasy and I know that that's what I was like expecting. It was just like kind of like he was kind of like what's the word what's that word? The word I was thinking of was contradicting. He was like saying stuff but then like not listening to what he was saying but um I reckon it will probably get better. Everyone likes the main guy in this book so hopefully something like happens and it's like better and then throughout this video I was reading some kind of perfect and I read 85 pages in total. I wasn't expecting to actually finish this book in this video. I don't want to read it too fast because it's the last book. I actually can't believe I freaking forgot about it. The total pages in this book was 365 so I'm just gonna say like 300 pages because like I think I started on like page 65. This book is so freaking good. I think it is though because it's spring where I live it's getting warmer it's almost gonna be summer and like it was just a vibe you know. So then I finished that book and I was like what am I gonna read? I went to the library a couple days before I finished Malibu Rising and this was one of the books I picked up at the library. I didn't finish this. I read like that much of it and I stopped reading it because I'm not mentally stable. I do want to finish it before I have to return it to the library though. It says that I read 135 pages of this book. Put in mind it's large print but I'm just keeping it as 135 pages. Don't read this book if you're mentally unstable. I don't want to tell you about this book because if I tell you about it you'll probably be more inclined to read it. Just don't read this book because it's freaking get away. I don't want to look at you. If you're wondering why I'm acting like this it's because it's sad. It's just too sad. And then because it was just way too sad I went onto the flat share. I saw this book like months ago and I only read like that much but then I picked it up and I just started it from the start. This book? Read this book. The first half is a bit slow and there's a couple things that were a bit like slow kind of but this book is so fun. It's so fluffy. It's so entertaining and the couple in this book is so freaking good and I reckon if you liked Icebreaker, I reckon you'd like this book. And this is also Closed Door but there is like heaps of mentions of like sex and like they're not oblivious to like sex and stuff. There's still heaps of mentions of it and that's like perfect because it's just super well balanced. There's heaps of like side plots in this book. So good. Amazing. So I finished that book and it was 395 pages and then as soon as I finished that I went on to The Bride Test and I haven't finished this yet. I'm on page 205. I got that much left. It's in third person so it is a little bit different but so far it's really good and nothing really drags on. It's pretty fast paced like getting to the point. The main guy character in this book is autistic and he's also a virgin and I think there was like this funny like scene like just read this book. I actually think it's really worth it. Some things are a bit weird but it's still really fun and I'm gonna finish this today probably but I just wanted to stop this video and wrap it up because it's just all over the place like I honestly don't know like in total I read 2,151 pages and a couple of the books like I actually did finish but I'm just going to do it this way because it's just a bit more easier to understand I just divided 2,151 by 350 and it was six so technically I read six books in this video take that with a grain of salt nah. but anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video I love books if you love books, subscribe. Bye.